In today's video, we have the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 versus the Pixel Watch that just came out. They are both running Google OS, and pretty much they are the best when it is something that has Wear OS built in. Even though there are a lot of similarities between these two devices, we're gonna go through what the differences are, what the similarities are, and really at the end of the day, is it right for you? But let's go ahead and get right into it. First, let's get into the design of these two. The Galaxy Watch 5 does come with a 40 millimeter and a 44 millimeter. I currently have the 44 millimeter, where the Pixel Watch only comes in at a 41 millimeter. So there's no other size options with the Pixel Watch. Since there are the two different options with the Galaxy Watch 5, I'm going to predominantly be talking about the smaller version. So the screen on both these are a circular 1.2 inch AMOLED display. They both do have touch screen and they both have five atmospheres of water resistance and an always on option as well. As far as the glass on both of these are concerned, the Galaxy Watch has sapphire glass, where the Pixel Watch only has Gorilla Glass 5. So when we're talking about overall durability, the dome shape of this Pixel Watch probably can be a little bit of a downfall, especially if you're doing a lot of things like rock climbing or things where you might be able to nick these edges where the durability isn't gonna be as great, where you do have that sapphire they say is 60% stronger than regular glass. The Galaxy Watch 5 does have an aluminum frame where you're gonna have more of a stainless steel on the Pixel, and I feel like the stainless steel is a little bit Bit more premium feeling. They both have two physical buttons with one of those buttons on the Pixel Watch being this rotating button. It does also press in as well and you get some great haptic feedback to move around the user interface. The buttons on the Samsung Watch are customizable so like double presses and holds are customizable where they are not customizable on the Pixel Watch. And the band clasping mechanism. You're going to have a 20 millimeter band clasping on the Galaxy Watch which is pretty standard along a lot of watches but on the Pixel Watch. They have this new, what they call like putting a lens on a camera type clasping mechanism, which I am a big fan of with the Pixel. It's very nice and very easy, but the thing is you do have to get Pixel specific bands for this. Hopefully they will be adding something that you can be able to add like a 20 millimeter band, like a little lug here, but right now there is nothing like that. Let's get into its fitness and sleep tracking. They both need two different apps. The Samsung Health app is going to be with the Samsung and you will need the Fitbit app for the Google device. It goes through all Fitbit devices, which is going to come with a premium subscription of six months. And if you like to go after that, you do have to pay for that premium subscription. You do not need to do that on the Galaxy Watch. This heart rate sensor does sense a heart rate every second, which is awesome. It does throughout the day, but that does go with battery life. We'll get into that a little bit later. But you are going to get a little bit more of an accurate heart rate on the Pixel Watch, where it's still accurate on the Samsung, just not as accurate. GPS connectivity on both of them are awesome. Through a couple of different reviews, I saw that the Pixel Watch is a little bit more accurate. DC Rainmaker has some great videos, so make sure to check out his channel if you really want to see the breakdown of GPS and same thing with Quantified Scientists. Sleep tracking is definitely going to go a little bit more towards the Pixel Watch as Fitbit has always been great with sleep tracking and the Pixel Watch is no different. Yes, the Samsung isn't really a slouch. It does great sleep tracking as well, but really this does really good sleep tracking on the Pixel Watch. They both offer blood oxygen measurements, but right now on the Pixel Watch that isn't updated. It will be coming up with an update. We're just not sure when that's going to be. And they both have NFC payment. They both have Google Pay. Samsung does have Samsung Pay built in as well, but you know, Google Pay works great. They both have some other Google integration like Google Assistant is built into both and also Google Maps is built into both. And of course it has the other things like timers, watch faces, notifications. They're all built into both as well. You also get the option for Bigsby on Samsung. If you'd like to use Bigsby, that's great for going through options within the band. If you can't find it, you can just ask Bigsby. Battery life. So the battery life on both of these, they say you can get up to 40 hours on that 40 millimeter band for Galaxy Watch 5, where you can only get up to 24 hours on the Pixel Watch. And through my testing, yeah, that's pretty much right. If you are doing a lot of GPS tracking or you're doing a lot of media playback, I play music for my classes at my gym, so it does drain the battery a little bit faster. I have to turn Bluetooth off myself so it doesn't continually drain that battery, but battery life in general is gonna be better on the Samsung. They both come with their own wireless pucks as well. The Samsung puck seems to be a little bit more magnetic as it can actually hold on to watches where the Pixel Watch isn't as strong with it. Pixel Watch does say it doesn't come with Qi wireless charging, 
but it does charge with not only reverse charging on my Samsung phone, but it also charges with the old Samsung pucks as well. So as far as battery life is concerned, you can get pretty much over a day, a day and a half with the Samsung watch where you're only gonna be getting a day with the Pixel watch. You really have to get a whole charging schedule if you really wanna make sure to get more than one day with the Pixel watch. Also on the Samsung watch, you do get a BIA sensor, a bio impedance analysis sensor that tracks body fat percentage that I found was relatively accurate. I mean, I do a good amount of views on smart scales and none of these smart scales could get as accurate as this watch could, so that's a big plus. It also comes with ECG analysis, so things like AFib you can be able to detect on the Samsung watch where you cannot do it on the Pixel watch. If you're getting a lot of great information from this video, please smash that like button. It's gonna help push it out to the YouTube algorithm to help me grow my channel. Let's quickly go over the user interface of both these. On a Samsung watch, when you swipe down, you have all of your quick settings that you can swipe on through, and this bottom right button always goes home. The top right button does nothing when you click it once. When you double click it, that is customizable. I have on NFC payment through Google Pay, and then also you can hold it down, and again, that's customizable as well. Bottom right button, you can also hold down and double tap as well. The hold down always stays at Samsung Pay, sadly. When you swipe from right to left, this is gonna be all of your widgets, and it actually has a rotating bezel. This is a digital bezel that you can rotate through the user interface with. When you go to apps, this is probably one of my favorite parts. We start from the bottom to the top. This is gonna be a little app drawer and it all has icons to go through. On the back of the device, the band it comes with is this magnetic band. I'd probably recommend you guys getting the sports band if you do wanna buy it, but it is relatively easy to take off and these lugs are easy to be able to replace it and all your sensors are built in. Even this body temperature sensor that you do not get on the Pixel Watch currently, it needs to have an update before that is functional. With the Pixel Watch, when you swipe from the top to the bottom, this is going to go into all of your quick settings right here and then when you hit this button it's always going to go home there is no hold on this button but when you do press it it goes into your app list this is just a list and you can use this rotating button right here to go through it and it has a little haptic feedback i like the way it's listed a little bit better on samsung the top right button when you hit it once it's going to go into your recent apps and when you hold it down it's going to go right to your google assistant when you swipe from right to left, this is gonna be all of your widgets. These are all customizable as well, and they bring you right back to your watch face. We swipe from the bottom to the top. This is gonna be your notifications that you are going through. On the back of the device, it is nice and smooth. When you wanna take off this band, you kinda of have to press this downward, rotate it a bit, and it comes off. It looks like there is like almost a sensor there that you can't really see. There we go, maybe that's gonna be an update, but then also relatively easy to snap right back on. So one of my thoughts and impressions between the two, which one should you really buy? At the end of the day, you do get more bang for your buck out of the Samsung watch. Really the only thing that you're not getting with the Samsung watch that you are with the Pixel watch, I do think the Pixel watch does have a little bit more of a premium feel when you are handling it. And I do actually like this rotating button as well with that haptic feedback. It feels a little bit more fluid throughout the user interface on the Pixel Watch. Even though there are some things I do like about the user interface on the Samsung a little bit better, it just seems a little bit more fluid on the Pixel Watch and the Fitbit app. It is a great app that has a lot of great analysis and you even get things like readiness score and sleep profiles that you do not get on the Samsung Watch. But talking about that, the Samsung Health app is free. You do not need to pay for a premium membership with the Samsung app. So there is a positive with that as well. I would only really choose the Pixel Watch currently if I had a charging schedule built in that I had the puck with me and I was able to charge a couple different times a day so I can use its sleep tracking. Currently, if you cannot charge during the day, you can't get sleep tracking because you need to have that battery for the next day. You need to charge it while you're sleeping. So you won't even be able to get that sleep tracking where you don't have to think about charging as much with the Samsung Watch. So if you can find a good charging schedule or you don't even care about sleep tracking, maybe the Pixel Watch is a little bit better for you. It is a little bit more premium feeling and it has a great user interface. But for pretty much everybody else, I would be going with the Samsung Watch. It gives you more things built in, more customizable things. And even with the band, you can actually buy random 20 inch bands online and you don't have to have these pixel specific bands if you need to. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please smash that like button. If it was really helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. 
hit that notification bell so be one of the first ones to know when my newest video comes out. If you're looking to purchase any one of these bands, they will be linked down in the description below. That'll be pushing it Amazon and a little bit of that purchase is gonna help me grow my channel. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.